Hey guys, what's going on? Just want to post a how-to video, and um, in this video it's going to be showing you how to connect your Xbox controller to your computer, and then your computer to the TV. Now this will be very helpful, or hopefully it's helpful, for uh, Mac users. I know we sometimes have difficulties with uh, certain things because we don't have Windows computers, but uh, that's alright. There are ways to... Uh, to do things that the Windows users use. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to start off with uh, connecting that controller to your uh, to your computer. First things first, uh, you're going to have to get yourself uh, a real Xbox controller made by Microsoft. Uh, none of this fake stuff. Uh, don't. I wouldn't recommend getting one from eBay, just because you never know if it's really real. It needs to be the real thing and it needs to be wired. Uh, you can get one with a wireless adapter, but I just find that it doesn't work quite as well um, just because it can be a little finicky to deal with. So anyway, uh, once you got your controller, then you're going to need to download two different things for your computer. First one is going to be Joystick Mapper. Joystick Mapper is an application you can find in the App Store and this simply just allows you to make up the controls for uh, for your game. Basically it's gonna when you uh, press up on up on the joystick it's gonna be linked to one of these keys that would be up in your game. So you're gonna have to set that thing up for yourself. Uh, I'll be showing you my my setups for Minecraft that way if you guys are setting yours up for Minecraft it can uh, you can just copy the ones I have. I find that they work pretty well. Um, so joystick mapper costs a couple bucks in the app store totally worth it though and um, here's a website you can just go to joystickmapper.com and read up on it see for it yourself and um, and yeah so uh, the next website you need to go to is taddyboggle.net it'll look like this and you just scroll down to the revisions now the current revision they have is 0.12 and uh, they said this works for Snow Leopard and uh, and everything basically but uh, I find that when I put this one in it didn't recognize my controller and I needed to go down to the 0.11 so I downloaded the 0.11 and lo and behold now my controller actually works I know it's flashing but it does work um, but this, what this download is, it's simply just for your, your Mac to recognize that the controller is hooked up. Um, because it doesn't automatically recognize it like a Microsoft computer would. So that's all this, this thing does. It goes into your, uh, into your preferences. And down here, add other. Uh, it just has my Xbox 360 controller. So it's that simple. Once you go there, if you go to there, you can kind of see my, uh, you can see I'm moving around my joystick, so, um, one, the mouse is moving, but then that little dot is moving, so it shows that it's, it's hooked up and everything. Anyway, uh, these are the two things you'll need to, uh, to download. Uh, Teddy Boggle is free, and the joystick mapper costs you a couple bucks, but once you get that, you'll need to, uh, set up your controls through joystick mapper and so here are my controls right now and so uh, I don't know if this is going to be very legible for you guys to to read but uh, here's my list of everything I have uh, if you want to pause the video and check it out so you can set yours up the same way uh, you can do so uh, right over here this is the uh, sensitivity I have mine at 15 so uh, I find that that works for, for me really well. You can set it up to your preferences. Anyway, once you're done uh, editing this, you'll need to just exit out of that little screen and come over here and uh, check the box. So now my controller is working. And I'm using this all with my controller, hands not on this. So let's get playing Minecraft now. So launch in Minecraft and... Um, I'll show you that it works. While this is loading up, um, 
what you need to to do to get from your Mac to your TV. Um, you'll simply need to get a HDMI cord that hooks up to your HDTV. Most HDTVs do have an HDMI uh, port for you to plug in, but you'll need this adapter because uh, Macs don't have an HDMI port. So the adapter, you plug in the HDMI to this, and this plugs into the... Ooh, I don't know if it's a... I'm not sure what the port is, but it's it's some kind of port that your that your Mac has. I don't remember what it's called. Once again, I'm no technical genius. So, um, all right, we got Minecraft launched here. So we'll go to this. Uh, we'll expand this a little bit, and um, now we're gonna get to playing. All right, so here I am in my world. Uh, I just started this a little while ago, and um, basically, I, you can't really see this. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you because I got to hold the, the camera too. But uh, well, let's see if I can do this. All right, so basically, um, here's a controller. Uh, this is your course up and down, and it goes side to side and can turn, do everything, and then uh, all the controls work, and uh, you can play and do everything that you would do, just like you were playing the Xbox version, but you can actually play the uh, the PC edition. So it's kind of nice because uh, you know you, you miss out a lot of stuff on the uh, on the Xbox edition. So hey, play Minecraft on on the PC, but Use the Xbox controller because it's a lot more comfortable for people like me that don't want to learn the uh, the controls for the PC. So, hope this helped you guys. Have any questions? Uh, leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Hope you enjoyed.